Hey everyone, Mike here and in this video I'm going to show you how to transfer from an iPhone to the Samsung Galaxy S5 and how to move all your content on the iPhone to the Samsung Galaxy S5 uh, without actually requiring iTunes anymore. Okay, uh, first of all you need to create a, an iCloud backup on your iPhone. That's fairly easy to do, you just need to go in settings and um, select all the things that you want uh, backed up and uh, from here you should select iCloud Backup and okay not really sure if you can see this and okay and uh, backup it now once you did this uh, you're done with the iPhone now you need to go and grab the Galaxy S5 and uh, on this particular one you need to go to the Play Store and look for the Smart Switch mobile app it's smart Switch, smart Switch Mobile App. It's made by Samsung and it says Samsung Smart Switch Mobile App. Find it and download it. Let's wait for it to, to be downloaded. Should only take a couple of seconds. Now it's installing. Okay, and now open it. Welcome. Okay. Hit next. I agree. Confirm. And from here you have the option to import from iCloud. And you need to enter your Apple ID. I'm going to pause this clip and put my password and account in uh, for a second. Okay, and once you did that, just hit let's set the transfer. And now everything should be fairly easy. Okay, you can access now your um, uh, backups from your iCloud account and I'm interested in, interested in this one, Andre's iPhone. And now you just have to wait for the uh, data to be loaded. All of this content was loaded and now just have to press import and uh, wait for the contents, the calendar details, memos, call logs, files, whatever I wanted to be uh, moved from uh, the iCloud server to the Samsung Galaxy S5. So definitely fairly easy to do that. Okay, so once everything is completed, the transfer is completed, you just have to press done and that's it. All of your iPhone content should be available on this phone. However, your music and your videos might not have been synced with your device, at least in my case, because uh, they were not included uh, in my iCloud backup. If you want to sync your uh, videos and podcasts and uh, music with uh, the Galaxy S5, you will need to do that uh, the old-fashioned way by using an iTunes account. Uh, at least uh, that's what I think right now, that's how I do it. And I'm going to show you how to do that yourself in a different clip that I will link in the description down below. For now, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and uh, I will catch you guys uh, in the next video. Bye.